Hey guys, what's going on? I'm a BA, a breeze attack, and I'm bringing this lovely gameplay slash commentary on the lovely map Kowloon. And I'm playing some hardcore TDM, which I've actually never seen a commentator do before, so maybe this is the first time for you as well. This is also my first ever hardcore match in Call of Duty ever in Black Ops. Actually, yeah, I've played hardcore before in Call of Duty 4, but I don't play much hardcore. I'm pretty sure this is my first time in Black Ops. But if you didn't know this, you don't have a UAV top left corner. The only way to get that UAV up is actually to get a spy plane. And also your bullets are a lot stronger than normal. So it's pretty fun. A lot more campy because you have to be a little bit more careful. But nevertheless, today is a Q&A video. I'll be answering all your guys' questions. If I don't mention your username or anything like that, then I'm sorry. But uh, I'll just try to get through this video in one take. If I do stumble with my words, which I'm pretty sure I will, then I'm sorry. I've never been good at speaking can continually for a long time or a long period of time so we're gonna try to do this with as I don't know let's just do this <laughs> okay so the first question comes from rooster sauce do you try to promote your videos slash channel ever uh, not really just to answer your question in full but uh, I guess this counts as promoting my channel so yesterday I promoted my channel by <laughs> I had a flawless gameplay and I was like hey guys you should check out my channel because I do this all the time so check out youtube.com slash breeze attack and this one little kid was like, I hate you, you suck. And I was like, oh, dang, that kind of hurts my feelings. And he's like, I don't care, I'm a little boy and I can do whatever I want. And I was like, okay, that's weird. Uh, so no, not really. Uh, next question comes from, oh God, uh, I didn't do it, he did. Oh, I didn't do it, he did, that is awesome. No, wait, that, that's not what it, never mind, who cares? So his question comes, or what? What is this question? Oh, sorry. I'm stumbling with my words. I told you this is going to happen. But um, his question is, what's the worst thing you ever did at school? It's actually done. That's what confused me. But um, the worst thing I've ever done at school, I'm actually a goody-goody kid. I've really ne never done anything bad at school. I've never been to detention before. I've never done anything nasty or perverted or thrown food at people. Never uh, cussed in class. Never... Chewed bubblegum while the teacher didn't want me to. So, yeah. The worst thing I've ever done at school, I've really never done anything bad at school. So, I'm sorry. I'm, that's, I'm pretty sure that's not really the question you really wanted or answer you really wanted. So, I'm sorry. Uh, let's just move on before you hate me too much. <laughs> the next question comes from 101 Andrew Man. And he asks, what do you want to do when you grow up? If you do get a contract for Machinima, would you work for them or get another job? So, that's a lot of questions at once. So, I answer the first one so what do I want to do when I grow up uh, I want to be a programmer I want to be the one that creates the games or makes the UI of the games or anything sort of like that and also I want to be an entrepreneur I want to be a businessman but a lot of people want to do that and it's very hard to be one so that's always been a goal of mine to you know make a living by creating my own business but you know I don't think that's probably gonna happen I mean I'm gonna keep on trying until the day I die but uh, you know just get a regular job until I, that maybe sparks, I don't know. <laughs> Next question from him kind of was, if you do get a contract for Machinima, would you work for them or get another job? I would definitely love to work for Machinima, not really at their offices, but I would love to get a Machinima contract, which is different than working at their offices. But um, I would definitely love a contract from Machinima. Uh, if you didn't know this, you make money from that. So I guess that would be a good way to earn some cash sometimes instead of have you'd have like two incomes, you'd have a regular job and also that job so yeah um, and I would definitely work for them and also have another job to answer your question full so yeah <laughs> next question Z7 Tom Z no 7Z oh my gosh that's confusing why are you confusing me like that um his question is do you think you will become a YouTube partner I definitely think I'll become a YouTube partner uh, it's really not that hard to become a YouTube partner and the reason I say this is because I have actually two other channels that are partnered channels I'm not going to mention them because they show my face and I have a feeling this channel is going to be a lot more successful than those are right now So I won't mention them. I don't like showing off my face that much. So yeah I've actually already been partnered before on another channel, but I definitely think this channel will get partnered eventually Especially if I stay with this for like a hundred more years <laughs> Which I don't know if and in a hundred years, that's a good question. If in a hundred years, I actually don't know what I'll be doing, but that maybe I'll be dead. That's, that's so sad. <laughs> Anyways, the next question comes from Kush Beats Z, and he asks, "Do you have a secret vengeance with X Charles and White Boy Seven Street, or is it because 
they said something about you first. No, they never said anything about me first. And the reason I made fun of X Jaws or talked about X Jaws in a kind of a mean manner, in an insulting way, was because do you really think X Jaws would care if he got a video saying, You're awesome? No, he gets those all the time. He gets love and respect all the time for his videos. How many times does he get people to actually make videos where they say hateful things to him, which I didn't say really hateful things to him, but I kind of made fun of him. He doesn't get that very often, and in result of make, me making that video, I actually got him to comment on a couple of my videos. So yeah, that's the whole reason I did it. It kind of gained exposure because of that video. And also, I meant some of those things. <laughs> but Also, to answer your second kind of question, I actually really like White Boy 7th Street, so I never really made fun of him or have vengeance against him. So yeah. Uh, the next question comes from U H U Y A. U Ha. U Ha. U Ha. U Ha. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> and his question is What was your most awkward moment to date? Uh, I've had a lot of awkward moments. I don't really mind awkward moments because I'm basically the king at them. But um, I would have to say, actually, probably whenever I first got my Xbox. Because I was a PC player and all we PC players did was talk um, by typing. And whenever you get an Xbox, it comes with a mic. And the first thing I did, I t put on my mic and I was like, should I say something? People are talking to me and saying, hey, good game and all that. So I was like, good, good game, gosh. <laughs> it was probably one of the most awkward moments because I'd never done it before. And also the second most awkward moment was probably talking to my first subscriber on Xbox Live because, I mean, what do you say? They're like, I love your videos. And then you're like, oh, thank you. And then it's just awkward from then out. <laughs> so I'm still trying to get good at talking to my subscribers. I've... I'm not very fluent, it's kind of awkward still to me, but I'm getting better, it's becoming a lot less awkward, so yeah. <laughs> Next question, to get off the awkward moments of awesomeness. Um, the Crane of Truth asks, what are some things you want to see in Modern Warfare 3? So I definitely do not want to see Last Stand. I don't want to see Ghost, I don't mind Ghost, I don't really complain about it as we all know, but uh, I think Ghost kind of makes it a lot more campy game. I actually want to see a lot less attachments as well. So I want to see less attachments, less guns, less customization. I know all you guys are like, I love customization, but I hate customization. It makes the game uh, a little bit more risky to me because the less attachments you have, the less risk you have with the game. There's less, you know, scenarios you have to deal with. So yeah, that's my opinion. And let's move on. Also, I want Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3 to have good graphics, not like Black Ops. Black Ops has some crappy graphics. Okay, <laughs> XRMD2005X asks, where are you from? I am from, well, I'm not going to tell you where I'm from, but I currently live in North Carolina. I actually live really close to Woody's Gamertag. I probably could walk to Woody's Gamertag's house, no lie. That's pretty awesome, I know, right? But So if I ever get to know Woody's Gamertag and start talking to him, we could actually hang out and make videos together. That would be pretty awesome, wouldn't it? <laughs> so I'm from North Carolina. Uh, technically, I live in North Carolina, but I live. I, I was born somewhere else, so that's kind of a two-faced question. But um, ZZ Banana Man, ZZ asked, and this is the guy that recommended the Q and A video, so thank you, dude. Uh, what's your favorite TV show and/or sport? So my favorite sport is soccer. I love soccer or football. I'm sorry, guys. It's soccer. We're we're from America. We call it soccer, just like how you guys call it football. So don't complain. Good lord, you European people. But I love soccer, and also my favorite TV show is The Big Bang Theory. Watch it so many times, so awesome. And if you guys are curious, my favorite movie at the time is The Social Network. It relates to me in so many manners. And we're running out of time. Oh my gosh, gotta answer this question. Uh, his next question was, oh, and how did you come up with the name Breezy Tech? Oh, that is a good lord, that's a long question, but um, or a hard question to answer. Uh, it was kind of random, to be honest. I. I had a different channel called Breeze on something else, <laughs> and I don't want to name the username because I don't want people to see my face, but um, I had another username with a Breeze in it, so I added that, and also had a you know, great idea. These are Call of Duty videos. You're going to be attacking people, so I put them together, and it created a Breeze attack, and then ended up coming up with, I'm a BA Breeze attack. So, um... That's all really the questions. I can't, that's all I have to answer. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good are you in Black Ops? I am a 9 being pretty good at it. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs> Make sure you dislike this video if you didn't like it. Sorry I had to speed up that last part. <sighs> thanks guys.